She Made It, our ongoing series showcasing women who have made it to the top, like Judalyn Cassidy, who says her job does nothing less than shape the landscape of the country. What does she do? That's the best part. Every day I get to solve puzzles and every day I get to work with my hands and create something that is beneficial to this country. Think the job of a plumber is just about plunging toilets? Think again. The satisfaction that I get when I complete a job and know that this is going to benefit someone, it's amazing. Judalyn Cassidy was raised in the Twin Islands of Trinidad and Tobago, in the Caribbean where she had other career aspirations. I grew up with my great-grandmother because um, my mom couldn't take care of me. But growing up, I actually wanted to be a lawyer. When Judalyn's great-grandmother passed away, she says her dreams of attending a pricey law school came to an end. But free education in the trades was available in her home country. I decided like plumbing would be great because I don't have to do too much math and plumbing has a lot of math. You have to add fractions and subtract because every inch or half inch makes a big difference. Once she received training, Judalyn moved to New York in 1989. Two years later, she became a mom. When I came here, I was a babysitter, I was a housekeeper. But my neighbor who lived next door to me, he knew that I went to trade school. Thanks to that neighbor's recommendation, she was accepted into an apprentice program with a plumber's union just a few years later. Being on the job site was not without its challenges. I would be the only woman. Sometimes you might be relegated to going for coffee or something like that. People thinking because of my size, I wouldn't have been able to do certain things. But I just had this thing that I am going to prove you wrong. At some point, the person that you're working with would leave and go to the bathroom. I would continue doing the tasks that they were doing, and they would come back and be surprised, like, how did you know that? I've been watching you. I've been paying attention. By doing that, a lot of the men was like, wow, she really wants to learn plumbing. That very enthusiasm has sparked Judalyn to inspire the next generation of plumbers through a nonprofit called Tools and Tiaras. And I have monthly classes where I teach women and girls different crafts like plumbing, electrical, and auto mechanic. To see the excitement that they know that they can do this motivates me and fuels me. And I want more people to know what plumbers do, and I want more women to get into the trade because it's not flushing toilets. here. So nice to meet you. I thought I worked in a male-dominated industry. You really work in a male-dominated industry. What, what has it been like, especially in those early days? How were you treated by the, by the men? Uh, treated badly, uh, to say the least. But within that uh, concept, there was also a lot of superheroes that stood up for me, mm -hmm. uh, that noticed that I had initiative and I had a uh, to drive to make it. So I had people stood up and say, no, let her work, give her the torch, give her the tools, and I proved them. But I love that you want little girls to know, too, that this is available to them, and, and, and boys, like young people need to realize this is an option for young women. Yeah, I really think that uh, we did a disservice to our country by the images we portray of tradespeople. We show them as baffling idiots, they're not really smart, and they're really smart people. And our country is falling apart because no one's there to take these trade jobs that people need. So we're all in this building enjoying the heat, the AC, your phone needs to charge, your iPhone always needs to charge, and then you, you need it plugged in. That was done by somebody awesome like me, a plumber, electrician. Yeah, so we need the trades to be exalted, like what you given our opportunity, a platform for tradeswomen that we exist, and uh, you need us. Absolutely. I love the way you said that. Now, wait, I want to introduce you to somebody. Mala Ogles is here. Mala, I see you. Mala was the first female plumber in Huntsville, Alabama's union back in wow. 1979. So you two have that in common. I'm sure you can relate. I'm, I'm sure you can relate to some of what she says. Yeah, she is awesome. Way to go. Yes. 
That was my conversation with Judalyn yesterday, and she has some great tips on how you can actually save money before your next plumbing emergency. For those, and for more on her nonprofit tools and tiaras, go to today.com slash Megan Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.